Well, welcome everybody on Facebook. Today is a brilliant day to take your life to a completely new level. In studio with me today, I have Sandra Biskind and, and Daniel Biskind. And uh, they've written this amazing book. It's called uh, Code Breaker, Discover the Password to Unlock the Best Version of You. And truly, we're going to talk about unlocking the best version of you. We're going to go and help you to connect with what's not working and help you just blow that out today, today, so that you can, your life can start working in ways that it's never worked before. So stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing show. Go ahead, Todd. It's time to take a journey, to find your courage, break through your limits, and master your destiny. It's time for Ken D. Foster's Voices of Courage. Ken brings you some of the most courageous people on the planet that will inspire greatness within you and change your life for the better. It's time to see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. It's time for Voices of Courage. And here's your host, Ken D. Foster. So I have a question for everybody today. How do you access the greatest part of yourself? Change your choices, change your habits, and then become the best version of yourself and maybe even leave a footprint for others to follow in the sand of time. Well, it starts with becoming aware of what's been blocking you. Hmm, blocking, right? What is that? Well, those are the things that stop us from really bringing forth our brilliance, our greatness, our power, our passion, our love, our joy, right? And, of course, everybody has some. I know that I've been working on my blocks for I can't even tell you how many years. Yeah, it, it seems endless. But there is an end. And what happens is that when you start to reach that end of, of letting go of these uh, disinformation, these blocks, these things that don't work for you, life starts getting really good. You start having more peace, more joy, more abundance, more success, better relationships. It's, it's pretty amazing. And we can actually do that here while we're living on this planet, right? So that's what this show is about today. We're going to call it The Courage to Break the Success Code. So I remember there was a time that I had one of these blocks, right? I would, I didn't even, in fact, this is an interesting thing because a lot of times our blocks, just like the one I'm going to talk to you about, I didn't even realize I had. I was down in Mexico, in Puerto Vallarta, and uh, somebody said, hey, let's uh, all go scuba diving. And I thought, that's a wonderful idea. I would love to learn how to do that. And so I got in a pool and took some lessons. And the first thing I noticed is when I went underwater with all this equipment is there was this feeling of dread that came over me. I felt like I was going to die. And I didn't realize what that feeling was until I... Later, looked it up. It was a feeling of claustrophobia. And it, you know, it can be triggered by uh, being in a place with a windowless room or being stuck in a crowded elevator or being in traffic. Well, in my case, it was going underwater with scuba equipment on. So, in by the way, it's one of the most common phobias that we can have is claustrophobia. But it does feel like you're going to suffocate. It feels like you're going to die. So, I got through the pool, and then they took us out on this boat. And uh, there were 15 of us. And one by one, everybody was to go down uh, about, I think it was about 20 feet, and wait for the dive master at the bottom. And one by one, everybody went down. And I, it was my turn. I jumped off the boat into the water, get ready to go down. And about five feet in, I literally thought I was going to die. The world collapsed around me. And I thought, how am I going to get through this? And I tried it again and again. I couldn't go past five feet. So I came to the surface and I said to myself, okay, I'm just going to die or I'm going to, I'm going to be at the bottom. I'm going to either die or be at the bottom. I didn't care, but I had at that moment I mustered up a lot of courage. I started swimming. That feeling came over me like crazy. I kept swimming, kept swimming. And the next thing I knew, I was down at the bottom waiting with everybody. So what's the point to that story? Well, you know, have you ever been in a place where you feel like you're going to suffocate? You feel like you're going to die? You feel like things are just 
oh, yeah, right? So how do you get through that? Well, here's what I say. You follow the formula, right? You get clear with, okay, yes, I've got this block. I've got this challenge. I've got this place in me that is feeling like I can't move past it. Whatever it is, maybe it's in relationship. Maybe it's in your career. Maybe it's in your business. It doesn't really matter where it is. But what I want you to do is to stop for a moment, feel where that feels like in your body, okay? Then make a commitment that you're going to move past this no matter what, just like I did. It may feel like you're going to die, but I can tell you this. As soon as you push through it, you'll be sitting on the bottom just like me, looking up with this brand new paradigm that you've never been in before, right? That's what diving is about, and that's what breaking through these challenges are all about. You know, I wrote a new book. It's called The Courage to Change Everything. And in that book, there are, and well, let me just back up. I wrote that book for one reason. We need more courage in this world. We need it every single day. And we need it in the moment. We need to access it in the moment. It's not something, courage is something you like think about and plan about and, and go to find. In fact, courage is just the opposite of that. Because when we're in courage, we're in our heart. And when we're in our heart, we're out of our head. So what we need to do is stop whatever you think is blocking you, tune into your heart for a moment. In other words, tune into your courage. And once you're in that place, you'll start to move through. Now, how do we tune into courage? Well, for me, it's really simple. I ask a courageous question. One question. What would I do now? If I was courageous, that simple little question. So think about that today. Think about that little formula. Stop, tune into your body, feel where it is. If you were courageous, what would you do? And then take action steps to make it better, right? If you do this on a consistent basis, what's going to happen? You're going you're gonna to see these little courageous steps that you take every single day. They're going to lead to better decisions. Because you're not going to be thinking it through the whole time. You're going to be in your heart. You're going, to say, you're going to take some courageous actions that will probably lead you to a place where maybe you haven't been before like me at the bottom of the ocean, right? But in this case, it'll lead you to more joy, more success, more abundance. Now, let me tell you, when I was at the bottom of the ocean, when I got down there and I looked back up and I saw the light coming through, and I felt this sense of oneness with everything. I sense, felt this connection I'd never felt before in my entire life. That, my friends, is what's in store for each and every one of us when we blow through our limitations. Life gets better and better and better and better. So I'd like to encourage you to go to my website, Go to thecouragetochange.us, thecouragetochange.us, and if you'd like to have a little more courage in your life on a continuous basis, I would encourage you to pick up my book. See, that book has da it's daily strategies and wisdom to unlock your genius and bring forth your greatness. It drips on your mind every single day. Imagine every day dripping courage, wisdom, understanding, love, connection on your scattered, head-filled mind. What's going to happen? You're going to slow down and you're going to succeed. Slow down to succeed. Bring courage into your life. Bring courage into your heart. Bring courage into all areas of your life. What happens? People start looking at you and going, wow, how did you get there? What did you do? Hmm. Well, all I did was stop, tune into my body, ask a question. If I were courageous, what would I do now? And take continuous actions. Okay, coming up in my next segment, I've got two of the top uh, new thought leaders in the country. And we're going to be talking about their new book, Code Breaker. We'll be right back. We'll be back with more Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. The most talented athletes in the world rely on a coach to get better. And the most successful business people 
do the same. I have found working with Ken D. Foster to be an extraordinary experience. He helped me to expand my vision, increase profits, and showed me the way to have more fulfillment and success in my life. Ken D. Foster is the coach's coach for business and life. He has been nicknamed the coach of the successful and wealthy. Ken is an instrumental part of my team and the success I have generated over the past 12 months. Ken gave me the strategies to increase productivity, reduce turnover, and take my business to the next level. So what's holding you back? Ken D. Foster is a master business coach with proven strategies to dramatically increase efficiency and productivity while maximizing individual development and fulfillment. Explore your possibilities. For a free consultation, log on to KenDFoster.com. That's KenDFoster.com. KenDFoster.com. There comes a time when you know you need to restart and regain control of your life. A time to seek freedom from the anxiety, addiction, and other issues that may be bringing you down. A time to heal and reemerge as the real you. Villa Kalima is a holistic residential recovery program exclusively for women for individualized treatment. Villa Kalima offers proven clinical and holistic therapies for the mind, body, and spirit to assure sustainable recovery. Villa Kalima focuses on healing the cause, not temporarily masking symptoms. It's the only way to truly recover and find yourself again. Villa Kalima is located in a beautiful, peaceful, resort-like setting and is a licensed and accredited residential treatment center accepting a variety of health insurances. Start your healing and renewal today by calling Villa Kalima in La Costa, California at 760-814-8214. 760-814-8214. Villa Kalima, a place for transformation. We're back with Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. Learn more about Ken, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities by visiting voicesofcourage.us. And now your host, Ken D. Foster. Ah, what a beautiful day here in San Diego. I hope it's beautiful where you are. You know, we just picked up a new station in Washington, D.C., uh, Virginia area. So I want to give you guys a shout out and um, w- welcome. I'm glad you're with us. We're now on 103 stations in 27 countries, I think it is. So just glad you're there. Listen, I want to talk a little bit about a local organization that's here in San Diego. You hear me talk about it every week, but you know why? Because it's uh, it's a powerful organization that really helps women transform their businesses and transform their life. It's called Women's Wisdom. You can find them at womenswisdom.net. They're San Diego's premier network and relationship building group for purpose-driven and soul-inspired females. And my two guests in studio are going to be there uh, manana, so that's that's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah that's that's going to be great. Anyway, uh, you can find them again at womenswisdom.net. Also, I want to thank all of you for tuning into Voices of Courage. If you're new to the show, we're about empowering our audiences to step into your full power, right? Transform your life and become the superstar that you're meant to be. You can find us on the web at VoicesOfCourage.us or just Google Voices of Courage and join our insider group on the web uh, to get some of the strategies, wisdom, and uh, sometimes guest tickets and giveaways that our guests give. So, yeah, I hope you'll join us there. All righty. Listen, in studio with me, i got two amazing, brilliant thought leaders. First, I'd like to introduce Sandra. Sandra Biskind is a global thought leader, an international speaker, spiritual mentor, and a number one best-selling author. She has a unique gift to identify and eradicate, I love that word, eradicate, the unconscious programs that undermine success, instantly amplifying her client's ability to live freely and thrive. And her husband of 20 years is in studio with us today, too. His name is Daniel Biskine, and he has a 25-year multi-award-winning career in large-scale mixed-use property development in the U.S. He has extensive leadership experience in community, civic, charitable, professional, industry, and spiritual organizations. Daniel has mentored and consulted with leaders for over 30 years. Welcome, both of you, to this show. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. It's wonderful to be with you. Thank oh, you. It's so good to be with you. Listen, how did you guys get involved in, in this uh, transformational movement? Well, I was three. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> at the age of three, I honestly, I was just receiving divine guidance and all of these beautiful messages. Wow. And um, by the time I was... Like, what do you receive at three? At three, I was told that I was a child of God and that I was love and that it was my job to teach people that that's what, who they were. Wow. That was the message. Yeah. At three. That's a big... That's a... That, that part about teaching others about it might have felt heavy to some. No, it didn't at all. In fact, it just felt natural. It was like, oh, that's why I'm here. It yeah. was kind of like at three, I just knew my mission and purpose. Yeah. And, uh, and so from then onwards, I had so many miraculous things happen. And one of them was almost dying at the age of 18. And it was during that process that I had my first full enlightenment experience. And Did that- you go into the light? No, definitely not. I had an enlightenment experience, not a light experience. And so for me, that was like this, this understanding that we were all peace, that peace was our natural state, right. that love is who we are. And I was completely aware of everybody around me, of what they were thinking and feeling. Yeah. Um, I was trusting in the order of all things. If I was to die, then I was going to die. If I wasn't, okay. Um, uh, there was an integrity to it. And you know... In integrity, there's this strength and courage. And so there was a real integrity to it. And I was completely neutral. Like whatever was happening was happening. And I felt a unity and oneness to all life. And I was totally mindful of what was going on inside me. And that was the beginning of this incredible energy work that we do, Mm -hmm. which we call an acronym for that is PLATINUM. And I've just given you the peace, love, awareness, trust, integrity, neutrality, unity, and mindfulness, which is what you feel and how you live when you're fully connected to listen, your true self. Listen, I, 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 you know what? I live from that place nine times out of ten, right, most of the day. And, um, you know, I sometimes am not perfect, but I know there's a whole bunch of people listening to this going, yeah, right, how do I even get there, right? How would I have peace of mind? Mm-hmm. Daniel, you seem to have a lot of peace. <laughs> where, do you, where do you find that? Where does that come from? Well, you... St- when you first started the show, you reminded me of our favorite poet, Rumi, who said, your task is not to seek for love. Your task is to seek and find the obstacles within you that block love. And so whenever we're out of alignment with our true self, what we have to do is find and dissolve that block. And that's really what you were saying, and I love that question you asked. That's a very powerful question. That's, that's good. Yeah. Plus, Daniel's got no one in his life that he needs to forgive. Right. So when you talked about how do you stay in this state of peace, right. that high-frequency state, if you've got someone in your life that you haven't forgiven, you are never, ever going to know peace. Hmm. So that's the first step mm-hmm. to living well, in a state of I'm, peace. I might even plus that because I, I think we have to make uh, peace with the um, – the country of origin with the uh, religion of origin, family of origin. Um, exactly. Yeah, all that, right? All gotta, of it. We gotta, we gotta, yeah. It's like, how do we make peace with that? Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, I've just come back from the UK and people were saying, I hate so-and-so, I hate this. And it was to do with this country and politics. Right. And I just said, stop it. I don't even want to have this conversation with you because it's not my job to hate anyone. Mm. And I'm not going to add to the negativity that is in the world it's my job to stay in a place of peace. And you yeah. can't do that when you go into judgment and hatred. No, you really can't. I was at a radio conference uh, this last week. It was Talkers in New York. And uh, that convention uh, was for the owners of radio, uh, the broadcast stations. The, uh, some of the hosts were there. Uh, some of the sponsors were there. And there's a whole bunch of folks there that um, really have a kind of a mindset that, as I listen to them, of, of – why they're right and why everybody else is wrong. And, Ooh. you know, it may, it may be my own perception of that, but, um, you know, there's, it, it's funny because I heard it time and time again. Listen, there's uh, 80% of the people want to hear political talk. That's what they want to hear. Well, that may be true at some paradigm, but I, when I sat there and I heard that, I thought to myself, well, you know what? There's 700,000 podcasters coming up right now. And uh, a lot of them aren't talking po- politics. They're talking about connecting people to their self, to their soul, to their presence, to their power, to their passion, and to their peace. Hallelujah. <laughs> Appealing to the least common denominator is not wise. 
Uh, you know, that was very interesting That's to us. That's right. Uh, I'm not sure if you've had Martin Root on your show yet. I haven't yet. Project no. of he- Heaven and Earth. He's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Um, he asked for Codebreaker, so we sent it to him, and three days later he rang up and said, what's happening? This is not a book. It's a system. And he said, and I started reading it, and I got really high. What, like, what was that? And we both laughed and said, okay, so this is very high-frequency information, and it's going to change the way your brain right. functions. And he said, and I have to tell you, I'm going to admit something. He said, I have an addiction to watching the news and since i've been reading this book i no longer feel the need to watch it i love that and i love this that. is very yeah. important because <laughs> if you've got the need to hook in yeah. to one side or the other you're out of unity you're out of oneness yeah and you said an incredible yeah. word there before i bet you picked it up too daniel and that was the word attachment mm. so they're attached to being right right which that means that they're no longer in oneness with anybody else because mm-hmm. only their attachment Mm -hmm. that takes you out of neutrality completely Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know a lot of people are thinking listening to the show going what does that have to do with anything be it attached or what does that even mean to be attached right Mm -hmm. well it just means that you allow the flow of life to move through you and you don't get stuck in thinking one thing is absolute and this is wrong right and wrong good and bad black and white uh you know it's it's that paradigm, right? It's that. It it's is. the duality. You're not attached to the duality. You realize we play in duality, but you're not attached to it. I think one way to make it easier for the audience to understand attachment is that um, one of our um, videographers I, actually, was I gay. Gotta, I got to take a break. Okay. So we'll come back and uh, we'll we'll talk about that story. Okay, great. We'll be right back. We'll be back with more Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. You know you have it. The potential for a more rewarding life, a life that matters. But how do you get there? The answer is in a best selling book by the coach of the successful and wealthy, Ken D. Foster. The Courage to Change Everything Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Awaken Your Hidden Genius and Transform Your Life. With this powerful yet amazingly simple daily guide, your future is in your hands. You will be empowered to unlock your potential, bring out your true gifts, increase your wealth and take your life and business to a new level. Get your life-transforming copy of Ken D. Foster's The Courage to Change Everything by going to couragetochange.us. That's couragetochange.us. Quite frankly, there's no other book like this. Imagine what your life could be like if you had at your fingertips the success principles to create the life you've always wanted. Are you ready to live your dream? Go to couragetochange.us. with Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. Learn more about Ken, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities by visiting voicesofcourage.us. And now your host, Ken D. Foster. Okay, we are back. Today we're talking about the courage to break the success code. I'm in studio here with Sandra and Daniel Biskind. And they're so kind to be here with me today. <laughs> <laughs> a little play on words. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, uh, we're talking about attachment. We're talking about um, how people get attached to uh, everything from, what, football games to uh, their religion to whatever. And you're going to give us an example. Yeah, well, a quick example is that um, we had a gay friend of ours whose parents were so attached to their religion that they completely wiped him out of uh, their life. And so they never, ever spoke to their beloved son again. And they, ha- they completely separated themselves from love. That's not a successful relationship um, paradigm. So that was really bad. And I know Daniel's got something. Yeah, he was going to talk he us was about He was sad, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Daniel, what, uh, how do we detach? Well, the, the motivation to become non-attached rather than detached, just non-attached, would you rather be happy Or would you rather be right? And if you think about this, do you want to be trigger happy so anyone can press your buttons and get your keyboard jammed? Or do you want to be trigger free? I love that. Yeah. Trigger free is where we all want to live. Trigger free. That's neutrality. That's power. That is power. And you know, one of the ways we get to trigger free is we stop trying to change our circumstances and we start trying to change ourselves. Right? It's our thoughts. It's our thoughts. Yeah. Everything's about our thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The problem is, you know, when you were talking earlier, 
let's just say that this is the white space. And there was one tiny dot. I haven't got a pen here. But yeah, so was, you're, you're looking at this 8 by 10 piece of paper so that's white. And okay. just pretend there's a one black spot in the center of it. Okay. And that one black spot is your conscious mind. The white space is your unconscious mind. Mm. So what happened for you was your unconscious mind triggered off a memory mm-hmm. of dying in a small space or mm-hmm. dying in right. water or, right. or drowning. That's right. And mm-hmm. so therefore you thought that you were doing that. Your unconscious mind is what is always running our business and our show. Right. We think it's the conscious, but it's the unconscious. There's a right. difference in the information processing capacity of the conscious mind and the unconscious mind that's so big it's staggering. The unconscious mind's information processing capacity is a million times greater than that of the conscious mind. So when there's a conflict, guess which one prevails? Yeah. Only if, every time. Yeah, if you want to break the success code, you have to work in the white space. you got to work in the white space. Exactly. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. So in your work, have you found that eventually, though, consciousness expands and subconscious decreases? Uh, no, what happens is the idea is that consciousness, unconsciousness gets cleared out. Right. So that what's in there that's running our show, no longer has any force I to control us. I think we just said us. that the same way. Okay. Yeah. Did we say it the same little, way? I, th- I said it okay. a little different way. But okay. yeah, that, you said it really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, in the book, um, and we're talking about your new book, it's called Code Breaker, Discover the Password to Unlock the Best Version of You. Mm-hmm. How do you clear out those blocks, those attachments, those fears, those well, harms? And we, we call it corrections, right? Well, there's a, there's a four-part system. Mm-hmm. There's a four-part <laughs> system that we call the quantum neutrality process. And we use inquiry, asking powerful questions, attunement, attuning to the frequency of your choice, corrections where you dissolve the emotional charge around the program that you've discovered, and activation, you activate that part of your true self that had been blocked by what you've just corrected. So a whole bunch of people are listening to this going, uh, attunement, what the heck is that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so uh, let's define that, Daniel. Or, or, or well, It's like it's well, you, we're all energy, everything is energy, and when you attune to an energy frequency, you actually become that frequency. So if you're thinking about love, then you're actually attuned to the love code. When you're thinking about peace, you're attuned to the peace code. And you're in that place. What happens when we attune? Let's let's talk about, that. talk about that. Well, yeah. your frequency. So let's say I, let's say I, I, I attune to love, and you know I'm 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 in that love state. Let's say, well, and I walk into my environment here, and everybody else is kind of in their head, or they're busy, or some people are angry, or some people are upset, some people are I want to get out of the out of the office, right? Well, what the, happens when I'm in that state? The Ooh, more strongly. <laughs> The more strongly you're connected to your true self and to that frequency of love, the more it will benefit everybody you come into contact with. When you're in a very strong, when your energy field is strongly connected to any of the aspects of your true self, which are really all the aspects of your true self, we just focus on one at a time, then you attract the things you want to manifest and you repel the things you don't want. There's a difference in your energy field. If you're thinking fearful thoughts, guess what you attract? Because that energy field, what you are attuned to, is fearful. And well, I'll negative. tell you what. When I'm, when I'm in fear, I'll tell you what I attract. I attract a sense of depression. I attract <laughs> a sense of, <laughs> exactly. of, of lack of energy, yeah. of, of just wanting to be lethargic and go eat McDonald's. That's what, that's, I, right. that's what I attract. I think a really cute story was we were in a seaside resort for five months, and every day we would go and have a coffee, and there was a very young, cute 17-year-old who served us. And on the last day, we said to her, well, we're going today. And she had tears pouring down her face, and she looked at us and she said, what is it? We knew exactly what she was talking about. We said, it's just love, sweetheart. We're just loving you. Mm. And she said, yeah, I thought that was it. Ever since you've been coming here, my whole life has changed. Mm. Now, we didn't talk to that person and that young girl about love right. at all. We just ordered our coffees, had them, and enjoyed the, the view. However, the frequency of love that we were attuned to right. 
actually affected her and everybody else. That's right. Yeah. And, and does everybody possess this? Can can everybody? Yes. Uh, you know, it's like well, it seems like some people have more more joy in their life, more love, more happiness than than others. Um, if I'm sitting around and I'm the one that doesn't that's looking for more happiness, how do I find that? You have to get clear of your unconscious programs. You absolutely have to find out what is it that is stopping me from being in the love code. And that is, it's always going to be a fear of something. Mm -hmm. right? You know, a lot of people have come to me over the years and uh, they're seeking a, a better relationship. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and they're, they're looking at the relationship and saying, wow, you know, I got to leave. This person has said this or they're toxic or they... Mm -hmm. They make me feel this way or, you know, uh, that stuff. Uh, how does attuning to, let's say, the love code change that? I so, can give you an example. Oh, Good. You know what the sexiest trade on the planet is? What's that? <laughs> when what is your that? Partner, <laughs> when your partner's highest priority is your highest and best Mm. When they are there to support you to become the best version of you, can you imagine anything sexier than that? I can't. In mm. fact, you know, I, I've said this on the show many times. Um, when I wake up in the morning, the first question I ask myself is, how can I make my life, my wife's life better? And she does the same. How sexy is that? The best. And is that not a beautiful expression of love? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, and, and just for us self-centered guys, listen, when your wife is doing well, when you're helping her, your life does get better, right? When she's feeling good, when she's, she's feeling nurtured and cared for and loved, your life gets better, right? Happy, happy wife, happy, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. That's, <laughs> we've heard that, right? <laughs> Not original, but ultimate truth. That's right. Okay, listen, we're wrapping up uh, again on this segment. We're going to be back in a minute. But before I get there, I want to tell everybody where to get the book here. Can you uh, yeah, talk about that, Yeah, if you go that, to Amazon, but, but truly go to codebreakerbook.com, and then you can actually download three free meditations as well. Now, talk to me about those meditations. Tell me a little bit yeah, about that. Yeah, we designed them to complement the system in this book so that it all works as one beautiful system. So what happens is when you're listening to the meditations, they're attuning you to the frequency, this really high energy frequency of platinum, which is in the book. So it's just like being on radio, right? If, yes. You know, if you don't like the dial, if you don't like what's coming out of the radio, it's tune the dial, turn the dial. Now, I'm not telling you to turn my dial because this dial is all about <laughs> empowering you, right? No, it's turning so, your dial. It, it, turn your dial. That's yes. right. Turn your dial up. Turn your dial to higher frequency. We'll be right back. We're going to continue this talk about uh, about life. How to get it, how does it get better than this? Uh, not much. <laughs> we'll be back with more Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. The most talented athletes in the world rely on a coach to get better. And the most successful business people do the same. I have found working with Ken D. Foster to be an extraordinary experience. He helped me to expand my vision, increase profits, and showed me the way to have more fulfillment and success in my life. Ken D. Foster is the coach's coach for business and life. He has been nicknamed the coach of the successful and wealthy. Ken is an instrumental part of my team and the success I have generated over the past 12 months. Ken gave me the strategies to increase productivity, reduce turnover, and take my business to the next level. So what's holding you back? Ken D. Foster is a master business coach with proven strategies to dramatically increase efficiency and productivity while maximizing individual development and fulfillment. Explore your possibilities. For a free consultation, log on to KenDFoster.com. That's KenDFoster.com. KenDFoster.com. There comes a time when you know you need to restart and regain control of your life. A time to seek freedom from the anxiety, addiction, and other issues that may be bringing you down. A time to heal and re-emerge as the real you. Villa Kalima is a holistic residential recovery program exclusively for women for individualized treatment. Villa Kalima offers proven clinical and holistic therapies for the mind, body, and spirit to assure sustainable recovery. Villa Kalima focuses on healing the cause, not temporarily masking symptoms. It's the only way to truly recover and find yourself again. Villa Kalima is located in a beautiful, peaceful, resort-like setting and is a licensed and accredited residential treatment center accepting a variety 
variety of health insurances. Start your healing and renewal today by calling Villa Kalima in La Costa, California at 760-814-8214. 760-814-8214. Villa Kalima, a place for transformation. We're back with Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. Learn more about Ken, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities by visiting voicesofcourage.us. And now your host, Ken D. Foster. Transformation. Don't we all want to live a happier life? Have a little more success? Have a little more love? Joy in our life? I think everybody does, right? But are you willing to do just a little work? It doesn't take a lot, but it does take consistent actions on a daily basis. Today, our show is called The Courage to Break the Success Code. And before I get back to uh, my guests in studio here, I want to truly thank everybody that is tuning in to this show around the world. This show is really here for you. This is your show. If you have family, friends, associates that you think could really need a shot of motivation, inspiration, courage, love, joy, happiness in their life, have them tune in to us. Have them go to VoicesOfCourage.us. Again, VoicesOfCourage.us. And just recommend it. You know, you have nothing to lose. And uh, by the way, everybody on Facebook that's out there right now, I want to give you a shout out. I want to thank you for all of the likes that you're putting out there. I want to thank you for all the people you're inviting out there. You are helping us grow this show. You're helping us. It's not about the show. What is it really about? It's about changing the consciousness on this planet, right? right. Have Amen. you looked around and turned on the TV lately? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, in studio with me is uh, Sandra and Danielle Biskind, and they have a great book out here. It's called The Code Breaker, Discover the Password to Unlock the Best Version of Yourself. And boy, do are we talking about that today or what? We are. And I think you've promised these people that this is how to break the success code. And I'd love to give everybody um, four, four, a process of four questions that is going to shift your whole world and shift your frequency. Daniel and I, Daniel, so if, if you're driving, you may want to pull over for a moment because this <laughs> is going to be very important for you to write down these questions. And if, it is. if you can't pull over, just know that the show is recorded. It's up on VoicesOfCourage.us, so you can Google Voices of Courage and bring this up so that you can get these four questions. These are life-changing questions that can change your life. Go ahead, Sandra. That's right. So um, just a quick background. When I was 27, I owned a chain of fashion boutiques in Australia and I'd just come out of a painful marriage, failing health, total financial disaster going on. And I'd go to work and a very courageous staff member came. That to sounds me. like my first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> a very courageous staff member came to me and said, you know, Sandra, we never know what we're going to get with you when you come to work. Angry, sad, unhappy, oh. a bitch. Yeah, that's, and that's how I used to show up. Exactly. I get it. Exactly. Yeah. But I was totally oblivious. I had no awareness of that. And rather than getting upset and justifying myself, I thought, aha, uh -huh, this is an opportunity for me to change my frequency and to show up as the best version of who I am. So every morning I would do this and I really, really want you to do this. Um, we've taught people all over the world and it's changed companies, it's changed financial situations, it really has broken the success code. And that is take a few deep breaths and have a think about how am I feeling? And I was feeling angry, upset, alone and unsupported. The second question is, what am I focused on? And I was absolutely focused on the fact that I had suppliers ringing me for money every half hour that I didn't have. And I just didn't want to go to work. The third question is, what do I want to feel? And that was the big one. And I'm going, okay, I just want to feel happy about being in my own businesses again. I want my staff to love me. <laughs> I, want the, I, want, I want my business to improve. And then... The last question, which is the one that you, you focus on, and that is, what focus will serve that? And that was like, whew, that deep breath. And I went, wow, I need to get back into to love and gratitude of, of feeling this love and gratitude for my staff, for my, in, and even for the suppliers who were calling me for money. Yeah. That changed my frequency so powerfully that when I walked into my business, my staff were happy about me there. It attracted more people. And within three years from going from financial disaster to the age of 30 of being a self-made millionaire. And I actually put it down to me being able to master my frequency. In other words, being very mindful of what the emotions were, not allowing yourself to show up that way without any awareness of how you are 
helping or hurting the people around you right. and really taking control. And, you know, you can ask yourself those four questions in every, every area so of let's, your life. So let's review those questions again. Mm-hmm. And, and Daniel, do you have those memorized? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure I, does. I, I, lives now, have you, have you used these? Okay, let's, let, let me, let's all, all review that. All the time. That. Let's review all the that. Time. And then, yeah. the, the first question is, how am I feeling? The second question is, what am I focused on? The third question, how do I want to feel? And the big kahuna, what focus will serve that? And then you stay focused on the f- what is going to give you the feeling you want. As a result of asking those questions, how has it changed your life? Better and better and better. It's like, you know, when you... F- Flying an airplane with autopilot, you make a lot of little corrections. If you don't have that on, you might go way off course before you realize it. And then you have to make a really big correction. And that process can be really big corrections or you can have lots of little corrections. And as you integrate this Mm -hmm. and assimilate this and make it part of your natural order of being, Mm -hmm. you make these corrections all the time. I do it without even thinking about it now. So I use it all the time. That's really good. Okay, so I want to I wanna go off script a little bit because I, I think I can ask you these questions and I, I'm very curious as to the response. Sandra, who are you at your core? Oh, I'm a perfect divine being with love as my essence and there, there is nothing else. That's all I am at my core. And as, um, as that... that place that you live from your core when mm-hmm. you get off track of that mm-hmm. um how often does that happen do you do you make mistakes and get absolutely off track and, i yeah, okay. i like everyone else yeah. have slips in my magnificence often <laughs> 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 because i'm human right <laughs> um of course and when i get when i when i'm not in that place of of love what happens for me is i absolutely do go into fear yeah and i lose trust and courage mm-hmm. And so that's why it's very, very important for mm-hmm. me to stay in that place of love. Mm-hmm. 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 So <clears throat> you lose trust, you lose courage. Danny, you feel the same way. Who are you at your core? I am love. Mm-hmm. I am a platinum being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am an extension of God. Right, right. As we all are. <clears throat> now, why isn't everybody saying this? <laughs> they haven't been taught it. Mm-hmm. Are we ever do we have that? an identity crisis in America? We, I mean, most people in think the world. Their, their car, their house, their job, their their girlfriend. I mean, what? Yeah. Uh, what but who are we really? Mm. Well, we're none of those things. They're things that we accumulate whilst we're having this earthly experience. But the truth is that every single being is a perfect divine being of love. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine what the world would be like if people actually knew the truth? They would. It would be a very, very different world. And you can begin to love that. You can begin to move into that place. It just takes a system and it takes a little bit of work. And quite frankly, that's the reason why we wrote Codebreaker, mm-hmm. discover the best version of you, because the best version of you is, you know, this perfect divine being that you are, that I'm looking at. And see, when I'm looking at you, I'm just going, wow, there I am sitting there. I'm perfect just right. looking at you. Right. So for Daniel and I, when we work in live events and when we work with people, we don't see them as who they think they are. We only see them as who we know they are. Michelangelo Mm -hmm. said, Mm -hmm. I see the angel in the stone and I carve until he is set free. And we see everyone as that perfect divine angel and what's covering them up are these programs in the unconscious and our work is about chipping away to set the angel free. So if somebody's sitting here and they're listening to the program and they're thinking, you know what, I would like more joy. I would like to have more peace in my life. You know, I'd, I'd like to be a millionaire. I'd like to uh, have more success in my life, um, you, know, you know, with my family, my friends, my relationships. What's the first steps? What do they need to do? Well, read Codebreaker. And read I know Codebreaker. that don't laugh, but, <laughs> Wait a but second. the fact is... Oh, was that a setup this, or what? Is, that, well, the fact is, look, <laughs> this book is 40 years, four decades in the making, yeah. five years in the writing, okay. and two years in the editing. And the reason why this book has been produced is because this is a recipe or a system and a process that actually gets you and changes your life as you're reading it. 
You don't even have to go through the whole thing. It just starts to, to take you to that place of peace, love, and joy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Codebreaker, you can get it on Amazon. Discover the password to unlock the best version of you, and you will. Sandra and Daniel Biskind, forward by Jack Canfield, a friend of mine. And he wrote the forward to my first book. So this is a, he doesn't give out. Now, by the way, if you don't know Jack Canfield, he's uh, sold about a half a million. Billion. Uh, half billion. That's half a I, billion half books. Half a billion books. That's now. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we'll be right back. I'm going to ask you uh, some, uh, what's your message is? What's your message to the world is? Let's, let's find that out when we come back. We'll be back with more Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. You know you have it, the potential for a more rewarding life, a life that matters. But how do you get there? The answer is in a best-selling book by the coach of the successful and wealthy, Ken D. Foster. The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Awaken Your Hidden Genius and Transform Your Life. With this powerful yet amazingly simple daily guide, your future is in your hands. You will be empowered to unlock your potential, bring out your true gifts, increase your wealth, and take your life and business to a new level. Get your life-transforming copy of Ken D. Foster's The Courage to Change Everything by going to CourageToChange.us. That's CourageToChange.us. Quite frankly, there's no other book like this. Imagine what your life could be like if you had at your fingertips the success principles to create the life you've always wanted. Are you ready to live your dream? Go to CourageToChange.us. with Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster. Learn more about Ken, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities by visiting voicesofcourage.us. And now your host, Ken D. Foster. Well, welcome back. The show is The Courage to Break the Success Code. In this section, we're going to give you the uh, specific tools that you need to have more success in your life. But before I get to that, I want to let you know that there is a entrepreneurial uh, organization in San Diego. It's called Women's Wisdom. If you're a woman, please pay attention to this because they are San Diego's premier networking and relationship building group for purpose-driven female entrepreneurs. In other words, these are women that have a purpose, and they're also some of the biggest givers I've ever met in my entire life. They are there to help you grow your business, grow your life, and be the best version of you. Even if you think that you're not that great, let those thoughts go. Show up to a Women's Wisdom event, and your life will be changed. Women'swisdom.net, Women'swisdom.net. For those of you that are not in the San Diego area, I encourage you to go to their website. They have audios and videos of some of their amazing speakers on there, and they'll help you connect to the best version of yourself, too. Okay, show, Courage to Break the Success Code. In the studio is Sandra and Daniel Biskind, and they have the book, Code Breaker. Okay, Code Breakers. I want to break some codes today. So that's like breaking some ass, only breaking some code. I love it. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, we were talking about um, uh, your message, your message to the world. What's your message? Nikola Tesla, the genius who lit up the world, mm -hmm. said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think first in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And if you want to understand how to manifest and experience the life you dream of, think first in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Yeah, and that's our message. Our message really is about empowering you. We want you to be empowered yeah. with the tools and, the, and all of the meditations to actually change your frequency so you can show up as the best version of you, getting free from the unconscious programs that would stop you from having the life you want. Is, is there neuroscience behind this? All of, oh, I love what I love about this. Look, having been, you know, downloading spiritual wisdom for like right. all my life, right. right now there are quantum physicists and scientists are backing everything up. Mm -hmm. So we know for a fact that um, when it comes to um, the meditations, we know what that what you know, we know that that is aligning the brain that the 
the brain is has plasticity and it can change. We actually know that um, Russian scientists have discovered that what the Western science world thought was 99% junk DNA is not junk DNA at all, of course, and that it respond that DNA responds to language and frequency. And so when we're correcting out the um, habitual thinking and the the information in the DNA that is sabotaging us, we're talking directly to the DNA on the frequency that we are that we we work with, and we've got the exact language so that within seconds we can actually now change what is happening in your body. We had one woman come to us who had markers for diabetes, heart attack, stroke and cancer and every woman in her family line had died of one of those four things. Mm. After working with us, she mm. had her bloods taken mm. and she no longer had any of those markers and she lost wow. 18 pounds. Well, you know, this is important because I know my daughters just had uh, their, uh, they did their DNA and they sent them into 23andMe and they came back with these markers, right? Yes. And they're like, oh, I might have breast cancer. I might, they, didn't, mm-hmm. they didn't have that. But they might, you know, they're coming back with these markers saying, Wow, I'm afraid of this. This is this is scary. What am I going to do? And I love what we're talking about here because, you know, uh, some of the greatest research I like right now is the fact that we can turn on and off genes with our thinking. That's yeah. right. That this is powerful. healing by the speed of thought. Exactly. Exactly. So, Daniel, I know you're just waiting to come in here with this. What? <laughs> well, we see this show up. You asked for scientific backup. Yeah. We when we transmit energy, which we do all the time, but we do it also very intentionally and formally in our programs. We have seen scientists show hemispheric synchronization without touching, just by transmitting this energy mm-hmm. using an EEG machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've also found other studies that show brain heart coherence instantly increase. So that's something that is you're used to feeling when you're feeling in a high state, but it shows up in physical lab tests. But you love that. You know, I have a, a guest coming on the show here shortly, and I'm not sure when he's scheduled, but he's coming up soon. It's, uh, he wrote a book that uh, the Buddha never had Alzheimer's. And, uh, <laughs> love, you it. love that. I Don't love you it. love that? And, you know, what, what it, they're finding, of course, is in the, uh, um, in the brain, uh, the exact area in the brain where Alzheimer's hits, right, mm-hmm. When people are doing deep meditation, they're actually with through neuroplasticity, right? We're re- bl- br- rebuilding Re- brain cells it, in right. that exact same area. Exactly. Right? Yeah. How cool is that? It's so cool. Like in the book, we quote uh, Bruce Lipton and Lynn McTaggart often. Yes. Right? Lynn's been a guest on here. Okay. So we yes. quote her from the field often. Now, mm-hmm. if you really want to know the science be- be- behind everything that we're saying, because you're thinking, where are these people coming from? Right. <laughs> Read Lynn McTaggart's The Field. Right. And Bruce Lip- Lipton's The Biology of Belief. Yeah. And, and also Lynn has a new book out called The Power of Eight. The Power of Eight. Yeah. So when you read those books, what they do is they tell you the millions of research that has taken place right. all over the globe, and that backs up what we're saying. Yeah, which, which I love. I mean, yes, yeah, don't, love believe, don't believe anything we're saying, no. but go do the research. At least mm. give yourself the opportunity to look at the science behind what we're saying. We're here reporting on the science and telling you right in this moment, you could actually change your life with the speed of thought. Now, if, if you have doubt around that and uncertainty, then obviously you're not going to change your mind with the speed of thought. You really need to get in a place where you're clear, you're certain, you have a, a sense of, 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 what do I want to say, what is that, that energy, that power that comes through us, that will, to turn your mind on and off. You know, most people's mind are like a wet match. You light it, and it's just nothing there. But when you do this work, your li- your mind becomes like a, 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 a flare. You light it, and it goes off, and, and everything starts to happen around you, in you, through you. It's amazing. Yeah, and, I suggest and- you use Ken's question. Yes, exactly. What would I do if I was courageous? I was courageous. I love it. You know, the other thing is that everybody's suffering. Yes. And everybody That's feels right. anxiety, lack of trust. Everybody feels fragmented, alone, depressed at times. Yeah. And if, when you're feeling that, does it matter how you get there? Does it matter really that you're listening to us and we're saying things that maybe you don't agree with? Does it matter if you're going to use something that's very out of 
left field for you right. if it changes the way you feel. So changing your state, the faster you change your state, the faster you get out of suffering, the quicker you get back into your heart and love, the faster you start um, having happiness and success. Absolutely. So if you listen to the show today, listen, everything counts. The reason that you're here right in this moment listening to this is most likely because you're ready to listen to it. So I encourage you, do, do yourself a favor today. Go to Amazon and pick up the code breaker. Discover the password to unlock the best version of yourself. You'll be glad you did. Um, as I mentioned, i got to wrap up now. As I mentioned, uh, I have a new book coming out on July 20th. It's called The Courage to Change Everything. Again, it's, it's dripping on your mind, wisdom, brilliance, understanding, and some of those really amazing questions that I asked today. Those are all in that book so that you can t use your mind to focus it in the direction of your dreams. Hope you've enjoyed this show. Any final thoughts, Sandra or Daniel? Just that we love you and, and congratulations on your new book. For those who don't understand, actually putting pen to paper and, and mm. giving your heart and wisdom to the world, that's one of the greatest things you can do. So thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing in the world. Thank you, Ken. And thank you to your amazing audience. We can just feel their incredible wisdom, curiosity, and their courage. Mm. Yeah, and I think if anybody wants to work with us, if they, if they go to thebiskinds.com, T-H-E-B-I-S-K-I-N-D-S, thebiskinds.com, go to our events page and, and see where you can come and visit us live or spend 40 to 50 minutes with me at the Women's Wisdom on Friday. That's true. Right? That's true. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, been an amazing show. Todd, my engineer, thank you so much. All my team behind the scenes, thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. And for all of you that are looking to take your life to the next level it only takes a little little courage daily actions it's not that big a deal but you can do it and i hope you'll let others know about this show because they can do it too take care thanks for joining us for voices of courage with ken d foster learn more about ken how to be a guest on the show and sponsorship opportunities by visiting voicesofcourage.us and we're always interested in what you have to say. So follow Ken on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or email your questions and comments to viewer at voicesofcourage.us. Also, you can find all of Ken's previous shows by visiting voicesofcourage.us. Be sure to join us next time as Ken brings more stories of courage that will inspire greatness within you and change your life for the better. Until next time, live courageously and see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. This has been Voices of Courage with Ken D. Foster.